All right, so just for kicks, we're going to look at um, one more play here. It's actually the same play we just looked at. Uh, so let's take a look at this. Uh, you got Wood at quarterback here. Uh, you're again getting the spread look. And we're again going to start the play with motion from the tight end across the formation to give us that 2x2 two two vertical threat. So just to note the differences here, um, one, let's kind of look at what the defense is doing. Hard to tell what coverage we're in. We've got a safety creeping down here. And really, the quarterbacks are probably with Diaz's defense. They probably don't know what they're seeing either. Uh, but you're getting a soft cushion for both corners. And you've got at least one deep safety. It's looking like cover three. Um, let's see what happens post-snap. So we see the same routes developing now that we saw in that previous play. We see this vertical release where he's fighting for outside position on this corner. Now, in this case, the corner is not pressing, but he's dropping for a cover three sky, and he's reading the quarterback. So you got both corners dropping to their deep thirds and the safety covering the middle third here. So one difference with the cover three sky is that now we're getting these four underneath zone defenders. And that really changes the dynamic of what's happening with these routes because whereas you used to be able to create that separation on the inside to open up this post route, now we don't get the same influence. Now this defender is looking for the number three route on this side, so we're not getting any influence on the middle linebacker here. In fact, he's reading the quarterback, and he's dropping middle. Over here, we've got the flat route def developing again, and we've got the flat defender here breaking to cover that route. So let's just see kind of what's going on here. And, and Wood is, he's again looking for this initially, he's looking for that cover two pocket to open. So he sees, okay, that's not open. So I'm going to come back. And usually in a read progression, what you want to do is you want to look high to low. So a lot of times what you do here is you'd read high here and then low. Although it seems that on this particular play, the read progression is look for this pocket and then look for the post. So that's what Wood does here is he looks for the pocket, looks for the post, neither one is open. At that point he just tucks it, uh, but if you look at what developed up top here, if he got to his third part of his progression here and looked high-low here, we just back up here a second, we see this receiver here pushed vertical and then he broke off his route, and he's got a ton of space here. So the third part of this progression is to this vertical route here, and if Wood sees that and steps into a throw, he's got a huge gain right here, and he, he can definitely make a completion there. He's also got this flat route as kind of his, his last safety valve to throw to the running back. And there's a lot of real estate there as well, so you throw either one of those routes, you're probably picking up this first down and maybe then some. Instead, he just tucks it after he, he, he doesn't have that second read. He's not really sure where to go after that, so he tucks it and ends up with a sack.